Good evening all. I am Arvil Kothar. I am going to take a session on how to create a PCB using KeyCAD. When you are all prefer calling it KaiCAD, I will be calling it as KeyCAD. So for today's first session, it is going to be creating a bridge rectifier by using 4 diodes. As you can see on your screens, there are 4 diodes, an input connector from the transformer, output connector, a capacitor which is used for filtering and an output resistor. So let me start with how to create it. This is the symbol, this is the icon, double click on it to open it, file, ok. Now there are 4 stages involved in creating a PCB. The first one, we create a schematic. Second one, we give the actual dimensions. We tell the software what are the, what are the dimensions of our components. Thirdly, we create the front and back of a PCB. And finally, we print them out so that we can use it on the hardware. So let's start. First, we create a new file. It will ask, where do you want to save it? I'll save it on desktop. Create a new fold folder. It's always recommended. You create a new folder. And create is rectifier. Create a rectifier. Open it. And then save it in your rectifier. It is RDC. I'll give it as RDC. Now you can see that. It is there saved on your desktop. And the file name is RDC. So first step. We create a schematic. Already running, okay. Now, if the warning comes, all is neglected, there is no problem. So, this is the page of the schematic. You zoom in and you see your file name is REC on a A4 size and it's created on this date. Now, before starting, there are certain things you have to keep in mind. To zoom in, zoom out, just use the scroll button. Now, the dots that you can see, this is known as the grid. To switch it on and off, this is the switch or the button. You can use your measurements in inches or millimeters. I prefer millimeters. And now we start a schematic view. Now in the rectifier, I, re I require four diodes. So I get it from place a component. I click on place a component and left click on the page. A dialog box opens asking you for the details. If you know the details, you can directly edit else you select it select by browser you can see keycad provides a large amount of components now for a diode i'll go to devices click and there is a direct bridge rectifier available but i'll show you how to do it individually a d for diode you can see it's already come so place it again if you want more click left click it's already there so give ok and then place it more to are required so left click place it and another one place it so let's orient it that is rotate it there are two ways to rotate one is left right click orient and then a negative orientation else just place your pointer over the device and click the button on your keyboard R so that it rotates done now again follow it for the others now to move your components place it place the pointer over your device and click M on your keyboard so that you can move it and when you are satisfied with the position left click the same for the others now I am satisfied the next step will be including a capacitor. The same, place a component, left click, select by browser, click C. This is a paper capacitor. I prefer a ceramic capacitor and I place it. Now for the register, select and give R. You get your register. Place it. Now input and output connectors I require. So same from components. Left click. Select by browser. Connectors I get from CONN. 
Hence, I want the connector two. It is with two inputs. To rotate R and then click left click. Again, I want a connector which is already selected. Okay, in place. So we have got all our components that we that we require. Now we have to connect them. We connect them using wire. So over here, this green color symbol is a wire. Take it. With connecting wire, be careful that you connect it properly. Zoom in and connect. Okay. Connected there. One wire is connected. Similarly, connect all the other wires in their respective places. It's always better to zoom and connect. It's using while designing a PCB require a little bit of patience. There, I connected. So now you can see the connections are to the places only where there is a dot. If it is crossing without a dot, it doesn't mean it's there is no connection over there. So now let's see. Uh, now you can see this p dot d comma d question mark. Let's give them name. We can individually give them name by right clicking on it. Then edit component. Okay. Then edit over here. This d. I'll give it as d one. Enter. There you get it d one. There's another shortcut or an automatic switch button that you can use to give numbering. This numbering procedure is known as annotate. Annotate schematic. Left click on it. Annotation. And then give OK. Close. You can see that all your devices are numbered. Now let's check whether there are any connection error. For that, schematic electric rule check. Click on it. Test for error. There are no errors at present. One thing that I forgot to add is a ground. Select, select all. Just press G for ground to get a G and D. Okay, place it. Now connect it. For connecting, it's always better to zoom. It's always better to zoom. There. Connection is done. Now let's check for errors. Test there. You have one pin. Pin connected to some other pin, but not pin to drive it. But no pin to drive it. This is just a warning. If it is an error, it's a problem. Warning is not a problem. To check it, just double click it. You can see. This is not a problem at all. So this is the. First tutorial. For further tutorials, please log in to www.orvilkotha.web.com. I am Orvil Kotha. See you. Thank you.